Welcome to another edition of the Recruiting Scoop. I'm Jared Johnson, and whew, man, I got some more good news for Red Raider fans out there. Big news, Texas Tech uh, has a roster addition. I mean, it's not a high school recruit, but it is an immediate help, a grad transfer, late addition to the roster in the middle of fall camp in Colin Schooler. He's a, a former Associated Press all Pac-12 first team middle linebacker from the University of Arizona. Matter of fact, he had eight tackles and I believe a tackle for loss against Texas Tech in the Wildcats win over Texas Tech last year. Um, Three-time starter, 6'1", 229 pounds, uh, can run. He's from California. I, I want to make sure I get this right, but over the course of his career as a three-year starter at Arizona, he's amassed 312 tackles, 46 tackles for loss, nine sacks, four interceptions, two forced fumbles, uh, three fumble recoveries, and 11 pass defenses. So, and I know just last year he had almost 100 tackles. He had 98 tackles, 11 tackles for loss, one and a half sacks, and uh, two fumble recoveries. So, when this guy comes in, and join as a walk-on, by the way, because Texas Tech doesn't have any more initial counters. So that's why some of these guys are coming in as walk-ons. And if they are here past the semester, and you know they're going to play, if they play next year, I expect them to be put on scholarship. Uh, guys like Tyree Wilson, uh, the quarterback Henry Columbia, who by the way just got his waiver and uh, immediate eligibility there, uh, which was good news for Henry. Um, so these guys are coming in and they're joining as walk-ons because Tech doesn't have the, the initial counters anymore. Uh, and I mean, look, Colin Schooler, you could argue he's like the best player on your team. <laughs> I mean, he's probably the most, him and uh, Eli Howard are probably the most accomplished guys in terms of honors and Jack Anderson. Uh, so uh, what a huge addition. And I mean, I already was super, super impressed. Other than receiver, I would say, the linebacker position was addressed in such a manner so thoroughly. I mean, I don't know how you couldn't be. Even the biggest detractor of Matt Wells and the staff have to admit, man, they did a really good job of recruiting linebacker this this past recruiting cycle. And with the addition of Schooler, only makes it better. I mean, you have Rico Jeffers coming back. You uh, added a junior college All-American who led all of junior college uh, in the country with tackles and Krishan Mary, whether they're at, you know inside linebacker. You added uh, special teams ace and definitely depth in a 6'4", 225-pound linebacker and Jacob Morgenstern out of Duke. Uh, you added another grad transfer outside uh, in Brandon Boyer-Randall uh, from Michigan State. He was a former Army All-American, and I, Michigan State did not want him to leave. So all of a sudden, your, your linebacker linebacking core looks very, very good, and I mean, Colin Schooler, I expect him to be, like I said, one of your best players, if not your best player on your team next year, so what a huge addition. I can't wait to see all these guys flying around. Uh, I mean, how many linebackers can they field at one time, you know, I mean, because uh, they have real depth uh, and real talent at that position, and, and experience at that position, so it's exciting to see, but with that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.